Ato, if you don't so, I mean, uh, looking at how things are played, and especially hearing from the Letter Commission this morning, and I asked a question about the element of trust because you as a, both a governance expert and a member of a political party, you know, like the, M the NPP, governing party for that matter, obviously have interest in, st in stake in how things play out with the electoral management body for that matter. The commission says they've corrected errors. But then again, there is that demand to see what has been corrected. Does that concern you? Uh, thank you very much, Alfred, and good morning to all your listeners. Today is my first time for appearing here, so if I'm giddy, it's because I'm just uh, oh, yeah. getting used to here, so that is part of it. Okay, it's, 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 <laughs> so say that. Okay, indeed. <laughs> but I mean, Rasford is here. My boss is here, so he will help you. me to calm down if I'm getting giddy. Okay, and these people are seasoned veterans of this show. I'm sure they will. I'm, I'm, so I'm, I'm, sure, I'm sure they will chop off my head he here. So I, I, I'm sure I'm in calm territory. Okay. Indeed. Thank you. Uh, there is a flyer of this program on social media listing yeah. all of us, all those that were supposed to appear yeah. here. That flyer identifies me as an MPP communications member. I am not an MPP communications member. Okay. It's a the MP, there, are, there are over 4 million Ghanaians living in the country, outside the country, who are MPP members. Right. If you just take the, the people who vote, over 4 million, I'm one of them. Okay. I'm an MPP member. Yes, that's true. But I am not here for and on behalf of the MPP, no. I am not speaking for and on behalf of the MPP, no. If I say that, I am a usurper. If I am say that, I'm engaging in fraud. Okay. Whatever, okay. I've, I, no, whatever I've gained in my life up to today has been done on merit, not on fraud. If okay. somebody, wait, I, again, as I said, my MPP bona fides are out there. They can easily check. A simple Google search of my name will tell you that I'm an MPP member. I've contested MPP elections, but I am not here for and above the MPP. It's very important to put this there. No, I, I, just, I, I just want to put that no, no, no. before I continue. It, it, I make my it, submission. It's a okay. That's Thank what you. I was introducing. I was specifically Thank you. stating no, but I, see, the MPP. I still think yes, that you think, say, yes. you see what you say, that it may made it. No, just let's put it that I'm here on my merit. The Electoral Commission is one of the institutions or is the biggest thing that has been birthed in an environment of mistrust among all players. Since its creation, first as INEC and later as EC. From the very day it was born, it was birthed in, a, in a, an environment of mistrust among all political parties in Ghana. The good thing is that this mistrust has made the Electoral Commission a better institution over the years. And all the reforms that the EC has done, and all the changes that the EC has done over the years have all been because of this fundamental mistrust or distrust of the EC by all political parties. And I think it has been good for our democracy. If you look at the elections of 1992, uh, the elections of 1996, they were far better than the elections of 1992. The elections of 2004 were far better than the elections of 2000. The elections of 2012 were far better than elections of 2008 and vice versa. That is precisely because political parties have never trusted the EC. The NDC has never trusted the EC. The NPP has never trusted the EC. And they've channeled, they've found various creative ways to channel this mistrust and to force, sometimes literally compel the EC to engage in reforms. These reforms have led to transparent ballot boxes. These reforms have led to uh, Biometric registrations, these reforms have led to uh, uh, elections uh, uh, being counted right at the police. A lot of the things we see today and take for granted with EC has been because, this, uh, uh, because of this fundamental mistrust. And for me, sitting here as a police officer, I'm happy that this mistrust is there. The day everybody begins trusting the EC is the day the EC stops being uh, a learning organization. The day everybody takes hook, line, and sinker, what the EC is putting out, is the day the EC stops to be better. And I don't want to see that day. I want to still see the day that is. Secondly, all political parties have behaved hypocritically towards the, the, the Electoral Commission. How do you mean? A simple search will show that whenever any political party is in opposition, they hate the AC. And when they're in power, they love the EC. Part of the reason is because I theorize that Political parties, especially opposition parties, whether the MPP or the NDC, like to play the victim, victim mood card. They like to be seen as this as victims. And they want to see this issue as this huge behemoth 
that is out against them because of, their, uh, of, of, of the government in power. And so you will see that. And as I said, everything they said, a simple Google search, will see that almost these positions go immediately reverse. I won't be surprised. Come January uh, 2025, if there is a change of political party, we will see a, almost a 360 reversal. It will happen. We will just see that. We will see that. That reversal will come. And the reversal comes because positions have changed. Levels have changed. If you are an opposition political, uh, political party in this country, it's difficult to set the agenda. If you are an opposition political party, it's difficult for you to, 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 uh, to drive the narrative. Playing the victimhood by all the political by the NDC, by the MPP, gives them the chance to galvanize their supporters. It's easier to, tell, to let your supporters know that we lost these elections because the EC cheated us. We lost these elections because the EC didn't give for it. Once you do that, you are able to weaponize that kind of, shall I say, hatred or this against the EC to help your fortune. So for me, this, is, this, uh, this uh, mistrust disorder of EPC is good. It has been good. In fact, I wish other state institutions had been put under such a withering attack. Okay, by but the, but the if, they had, if they had been, mm -hmm. probably the reforms we need, probably the changes we need, probably the, the, the better place we want to we would have been there. But it's precisely because some of them have not been in the eye of the storm. And because they are not in the eye of the storm, some, that is why some of the things we still see they happen. I, for instance, am a student of change, and I'm really happy that this is happening. And so, and it is up to the EC, once you become the EC, to live up to expectations. Because history has a way of judging people. History will judge you. What do you achieve? You are now EC, what did you achieve? And this democracy will judge you. Having said, I want to come to a point. Well, well yeah. As a student and, and, of, and, 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 and coming to the point, because you see, you make reference to the the fact that when there's a party in opposition they, they criticize and are antagonistic towards the electoral commission mm -hmm. if that mistrust is born out of nothing it's questionable i, I don't say it out of nothing no i'm not saying uh, okay, so. okay, okay i'm asking a question to the extent that the basis for the questions asked if are not in oblivion mm -hmm. then there is basis for concern, is it not? So I, for I agree. Instance, no, I agree with you, Alfred. There are bases, and that's what I've said. It's yeah. those bases that have made the, our electoral system one of the best in the world. Okay. It's those bases. And as I've said, and I'm, say, I'm not saying that the, the, the criticism that NDC has are no meritorious. I've not said that. I'm not saying the, 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 the criticism that past opposition parties have had are no meritorious. I've not said that. So for instance, the, the liveliness check. I mean, it's meritorious. Case. I don't know what that is, but he's just explaining and he just come. So it's, it's good. As we go, look, you know that there was a time that the ballot boxes were not transparent. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. You know that there was a time that after voting, they take the ballot box to a place to go and do and they get lost. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. So there are a lot of, you know that there was a time that there was no biometric. But point I'm making is that there's merit. Knowledge does not lie with one person. The NDC has knowledge. The MPP has knowledge. The EC has knowledge. My point is that we need a cross fertilization of these ideas. And sometimes the best way they come is through these uh, actions and in actions of parties, especially opposition parties. And I'm saying that the Ghana has been good for it. Our democracy has been better for it. That's the point I'm making. But then I ask the question, I always come to something that I always say. And we talk, we say that in public policy and governance, there are no magical bullets to solve any problem. There are no magical bullets. If they were there, we would get them. And that we don't, we don't need one size fits all solutions. But when it comes to the EC and the voting, I think that we have what is the closest to a magical bullet, the Ghana Cup. Why are we still spending millions of dollars, a lot of money, to do voter exhibition, to do voter registration, to buy, uh, what's the name of that thing you're talking about? PVDs. B B no, no, the livelihood, the whatever, whatever. The liveliness check. Why are we spending so much doing that when, again, the Ghana Cup could Help us that. Why not? So why are we not saying, look, because the point I'm asking is this. They are in, in the United States, vote, uh, voting registration is still going on. They are voting in November. People are still registering. Because the system is saying that you can do that. Why don't we use the Ghana card? For me, is the, the Ghana, Ghana card... Is the Ghana card foolproof to, to check these things? No, the, I'm making no, the... I'm first of all... So you, say, you say we should use the Ghana it's card. It's the closest. I'm saying it's the closest to a foolproof system. I'm not saying... Again, I just said no, there are no magical bullets. There's nothing I can say, oh, this thing will cure all the ills. But my point, if we use the Ghana card, it will be the closest to getting us. Yes, there are some people who are not still registered. It's true. There are some people who are not registered to vote. I, was, I remember I was in a class when they were doing the mob up uh, thing. So I stood and asked my student, political science, oh, how many, is there anybody who has not registered? They were hands. I was shocked. One of the students said there was in, it's in, it's in Legon Hall. Come on. The decision was happening right in front of Legon Hall. She, she, when she was coming to class, she passed through them, but she never registered. So you can never get 100% of people all registered to vote. It's the same thing. You cannot get 100% of people to all have the Ghana card. But I think that it becomes a fundamental strong place to start. So that what we can say is that, look, elections are coming. 30th October, we will cut off 
all those who are 80. And the, that, that thing is they do, do. We can measure. My point is that, in sort of, look, I think that EC and other public institutions of Ghana have become obsessed with procurement. They've become obsessed. And I don't know why they all have become obsessed. Because if you use the Ghana card, you will remove procurement. If you remove the Ghana card, you will really need to keep doing all these things. But they've become obsessed with it, so nobody wants to do it. And I think that's an, when the Honorable uh, uh, Samuel Okoja was talking here, mm -hmm. he said there's this idea that when you do something that uh, he and he is forming a bipartisan committee in parliament mm -hmm. to do it because he doesn't believe in the idea that when we can also do it too. So he wants to, uh, what is the name, stop that culture, which is a laudable idea. I thank him for that. But it's the same thing because if we were to do that, we should bring the same mentality to the EC. Let them use the Ghana card because it's already there. There's ongoing registration. With the law or the LI or whatever you call it, we set a, a cutoff point. At this point, all Ghanaians who are 18, you are cut off. Then we present that because the argument they didn't. For me, and right now that we are even saying we are going to register people at birth and death and this and it means then that we you know how you cannot grow up and they say uh, you are not 17 and you want to change the date. So for me, there are no magical bullets. And for me, the distrust for the EC has been good for our democracy. And finally, I'm going to try to make something. I like the fact that we are doing this. The criticisms of the EC has been baked in. It's called transactional cost. Every citizen expects that political parties, especially political parties, will criticize the EC. Every poli everybody accepts that. It's factored into the system, so it's called transactional cost. The EC knows that. So the EC is kind of sometimes presented like an orphan. If the EC buffs, we are saying the EC what? It's wasting water. If the EC doesn't buff, we say the EC, you stink. So the EC can never win. And for me, again, that is good. It is good because it, it keeps the EC on their toes to make sure they quit doing them. Mm -hmm. Finally, I'm happy that we are going to an election and the NDC is raising issues. I think the EC should be open to those things. There are suggestions that they are making there. Some of them might be good. And I, I even want to believe that, I don't know, that probably it's because of these things that they've, they've bought that tool again. Again, what is it called? Livelihood, whatever. Livelihood. Probably it's because of that that they want to bring it. And it may, be, it may only help to make our electoral process good and better. I'm all for that. That is good. So again, you can use it immediately. There has been... Uh, what is the what there have been something positive out of the, the position of the NDC on this? Two things to go to go. Finally, I want to say this political parties learn to criticize the EC because of one other thing. They see, they think that it will help them win power. No political party does anything by mistake or by chance. Political parties, you know, whatever a political party is doing, especially this league, the party, and especially with uh, political parties like the NDC and the NPP that have won power. Over, it's mostly driven by data. It's mostly driven by research. It's mostly driven by knowledge. So they have come to that is why in 2016, when the MPP was doing all that, but the MPP had data that showed them that keep doing that will help them win power in the world. It's because by uh, 2012, uh, uh, by 20, 2008, when the NDC was doing that, probably the NDC had power, uh, sorry, had knowledge, had uh, data to show that probably we're going, uh, that would, that's a winning streak. And so you will see, so the, uh, the political parties doing that is also what? I said, baked into the cake as a national cost theory. Finally, but, there was the latest yeah, global. Yeah, but, but then again, that's why I. I, I the global I'm actually, one. I, 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 I'm, I'm, I'm okay, yeah. Sorry. So, 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 no, let me so just say something. The global informatics, the latest so global okay. informatics. Uh, 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 no, it's <laughs> something. So, the, the, no, so you're all good because if you keep saying finally, you give an indication you want to end. Oh. And when you okay, keep so saying that. Okay, so I shouldn't say finally. You just. Con conclude on that. <laughs> but you see, you, the point you just made, so you go to your final ah, about the okay, political okay. parties mm -hmm. raising some of these issues be in, because they want to win power. No, because it's right. a winning formula. It's a winning it has formula. It's shown to be a winning but formula. But if it doesn't have basis and it's, it, it's not having any merit, certainly it will be to the detriment of the political party. But I just party. said it has Is merit. It that has mm -hmm. made our electoral process better. That mm -hmm. it has helped to make our elections one of the most credible in the world, not just in Africa. I've said it. I'm not saying it's not meritorious. No, I've said that. I, I just wanted to. Yeah, so no, no. Me. Clearly, it is meritorious. And I've said it has just resulted the results. The EC man here has just acknowledged that, yes, if they had done what they were supposed to do, the distance would have happened. But does that concern you? That, this is it, 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 it does it's concern normal me. process. It, does it should have me. happened. It does concern me. As I said, I'm not a lawyer. I don't know what the law But if the law says you should have done this, I don't know why the EC didn't do it. I don't know why they didn't do it. I don't know why they didn't bring it up. And especially when you realize that we are in a contentious elections and you are dealing with people on both sides of the political who are experienced, smart, intelligent, and they know these things. You don't give anybody even the appearance that you are not doing it. Because that's what I'm saying. The EC is one of the, the strictest uh, surveillance. And so you don't even give that appearance. So I've just acknowledged that. Would you support that call for 
uh, uh, the forensic audit to, as it were. I don't know what a forensic is again. That's, yes, that's been explained. If it, look, it will help make our electoral system better. Why not go for it? I'm all okay. for it. Right. If it will help make our, well, you see, anything that will help make the system better in Nigeria, we should go for it because this is democracy we have is one of the best in the world, and we all have a duty and a responsibility to protect and defend this democracy. We all do. So, any as I said, and they have just bear fruit. They are just they've just bought it. They will, probably by the time they want to go for their demonstration, they would have, the EC would have solved all That's this. That's Tuesday. Yeah, I'm saying I, I, no, probably no, no, no. The, the, I'm the saying, machine mean, they have bought is mm -hmm. financial loss to the states because the transfer is okay. done. Oh, okay. So what are you using that so, test oh, for? So, so yeah, I don't okay. know that technicality. No, 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 I, want, I, want to, I want to end on the high note. Do I want to let me finish. I will tell you. Okay. Recently, the global. You want to end on another high note? No, no, no. So recently, the global info analytics did a survey. And I was worried, I wanted to see the way two players, I wanted to see the security agencies and how they will handle elections and the EC itself. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to see what citizens think about these two, because they are very, very critical in the elections. Citizens gave security agencies 70% approval. Mm -hmm. They are skirmishes, we know, we can list them of even deaths, unnecessary deaths, and these things that are happening. But citizens, 70% of the citizens according to that poll, trust that the electoral, uh, the, uh, what's the name? Security agents do well. I'm happy with that. And I hope that the, the IGP and all the security agencies will take that and they realize that they have a duty and citizens are spending to do more. With the EC, 58% of citizens in that, uh, in that poll trust the EC to do a good job. My, my, my plea to you is this. Please increase that number. It's 58% is good. That's a pass, right? That's a, is it a D or an E? It's a D. It's a D. Please, my, my plea with you is that. Make sure to also raise it to 78 percent is a B is a B plus. Take it to a B plus. D is failing. Mm -hmm. so D, D, okay. Uh, do you want your children to fail? Okay. No, no, no. <laughs> do you know, I'm not, no, I don't want to get it. I, 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 I'm, all I'm saying that F is a fail. D is not a fail. If you can go to, uh, we, are, uh, we, are, uh, we are university uh, lecturers. Uh, you can you can graduate with a D. The point I'm making is that no, take it to a B plus. Work hard to improve it because the citizens have given fifty eight. You can, you've passed, but I think that you can, you should do better because posterity demands that you do better. This oh. constituency, uh, this uh, democracy demands that you do better and everybody demands that you do better. Please improve your numbers. Okay. okay? Well, thank you. Th thank you. Uh, there's some 20 minutes to the top of the hour. Uh,